thigh deep. Logan. The swim buoys. And then it drops off considerably more after that. We're at about 30 to 35 feet of water right through here. This is a very safe stretch of water to swim in here in this reservoir. Other than the boat traffic that you can tend with. There is no undercurrent except. The white bird Whoa. over to the right with the gray and black markings, that's the Daddy. California gull. Daddy. Utah's state bird, the California gull. There's Logan. Oh, there's so a coming bird. Coming into view ahead of us on the right side will be Meriwether Picnic Area. Known for many years as Picnic Canyon. The Daughters of the American Revolution, a number of years ago, dedicated this site in honor of Meriwether Lewis and there's a real nice picnic shelter back in the trees. You don't get much of a glimpse of it here as we go by. But we'll be docking here in about 30 minutes. We're going to go ashore for a short break or stay and catch that last boat. We've set the bathrooms there. Memorial to the Man Gulf Firefighters, the Meriwether Lewis. Oh, that's and the neat. Oh, look at the water rushing. Meriwether picnic here. They use the sandy or and you can here. see the water. And this boat with the blue top on it, that's the Forest Service boat. So when it's tied up here, that means Frank, the Forest Service individual, is here. He lives in the cabin that's back up the top. Now, one of the easier osprey nests for me to show you is going to be up here to your right. There's an osprey sitting in the nest on top of the dead tree about 30 yards in from the shore. There it's waving to you. Son his baby. He's probably been out fishing and they like to spread their wings like that to dry out. Well, you know what? It's easier for them to That's a typical location. That nest has been there for many, many years. Blew down a couple springs ago, but they rebuilt it. Like the eagles, they come back and use the same site. Now those of you that may have had some difficulty visualizing that canyon monster, see how you do with this feature that's coming into view over here to the right. The two ridges of limestone that be up with a patch of fir trees and see the head of the elephant. The trunk is coming down into the trees. This boat that's passing us, look above the boat right now and you'll see the stony elephant. Two flared out ears, two eyes, right hand eyes gouge them. There's the head of the elephant looking right down on them. Maddie, does that wind feel good? Yeah, it does feel good, do not it? Another osprey nest. Straight across is this bare limestone cliff face above the river. And then about 70 feet up on a bridge of rock. Little shelf, there's some wings moving up there too. Now this stretch of the canyon is one of our better stretches for sighting wildlife, especially Rocky Mountain bighorn sheep and mountain goat. Now the sheep will be a limestone gray, they blend in very nicely to this limestone, so you have to look carefully. Sometimes we'll see them high on the ridges and other times we'll see them right down along the river's edge. Keep your eyes peeled. Mountain goats are a brighter white. They stand out a little better on this limestone. We see more sheep in here now than we do goats. The goats, the biologists tell us, have been moving to the east, east side of the wilderness. 